Hi, welcome back into the Happy Place Garden. I'm Melinda and we've got a really pretty afternoon. The sun finally decided to come out and I thought I would take the opportunity to get McGregor's garden started. So I've mentioned in other videos that we put together hello neighbor rooster, um, uh, a vegetable garden slash fruit garden for my son McGregor. And he is still at school, but um, his, you know, his bandwidth and attention uh, to, to planting it isn't as long as mine. So I thought I would get started and get some things in the ground. And then once he gets home from school, then we can plant some of the seeds for, um, for the vegetables for him. So I think it will be a fun project. I'll be able to show you the progress as we go through the summer. We're right at the beginning of May and uh, we've had a you know really cold spring, but um, we're starting to warm up a little bit. So I think it's, it's time to get the seeds in the ground so that they get a start going and we can see the progress for him and, and have him be able to eat what we grow, which is really fun. So I'm gonna show you uh, what seeds we have and, um, and then we'll get started planting the blueberry bushes and the strawberries that we got. So I picked up some seeds at our local Dollar Tree. Um, they're inexpensive, but I, hopefully they'll grow and be fine. I got some, some carrots, and this is the red corded um, Chantenay carrots, I think is how you pronounce it. And we got some giant noble spinach, and we've got some early scarlet globe radishes. And then I also have um, some peas from the seed packet says from 2021, 11, 2021. So it must, maybe I got it for, oh no, it's pa packed in 2021 to sell by 11, 21. So they may or may not work, but I still had quite a few in the bag. This is a snowbird, um, kind of snow pea. So I thought I would try it, you know, if they don't germinate, um, then we'll get some other ones, but, uh, he's not really into peas right now. As most kids, I don't think are into that many vegetables, but he will eat carrots and spinach. Um, I don't think he likes radishes, but they're super easy to grow. <laughs> My parents like them, so we'll let him grow them for, for, for Papa. And I also picked up at the Dollar Tree um, some of these tags and um, wrote on them so we can have them labeled for the garden so we know which seeds are where. So here's kind of an overview of McGregor's garden. These are some planter boxes we had around our patio that we repurposed and put here. So I harvested um, some of our homemade compost for McGregor's vegetable garden. And I will show you my compost. It's not the prettiest thing, but um, I kind of just throw everything on here. And it certainly doesn't have the layers of grass like you're supposed to, the, you know, the nitrogen rich and carbon rich and the whole layering and turning thing and all that. I kind of just do the pile approach. I just pile things up and then let them do their thing. And then maybe after a year or so, there's some good compost underneath. I through the years have put a lot of our hemlock cones on it and they do not break down. So I, uh, my husband made me a um, little screen to screen out the compost. And so I did that and I made several um, wheelbarrows full of compost to fill my uh, planting boxes. And um, pretty much that's all in it. I didn't go get additional soil. I, there's a, there's enough soil in my compost from, you know, being attached to the weeds and that kind of thing at the base that I didn't worry about adding extra soil. And then I did top the beds with some um, purchased compost. I got uh, a manure compost blend. Um, so that's on top, but actually my compost looked really similar to it. So I was kind of pleasantly surprised. So I'll, I'll show you my three bins. So this middle one <clears throat> is the one that's um, most current. So it's got the newest additions. This one just has a big old bag that I got a bunch of um, potting soil in. Um, and that's just kind of covering it uh, to maybe heat it up a little bit. Don't know if it's doing anything or not, but um, that way it also keeps my husband from putting fresh stuff on the one that we're trying to get to 
finish. And this third one here is um, the, the oldest one. And so this is the one I harvested from. And there's still some left, which I can put elsewhere, maybe some holes in my grass. Um, but you can see the, these are the my shadow out of there but these are the hemlock cones that do not break down so this is the the screen that my husband made and i just put it over a wheelbarrow and strained it out and then i've been throwing the cones just on the fire pit okay these are the blueberries i got which they are in like a gallon sized pot they are the early blue variety and they get two to five feet tall and two to five feet wide. Cold hardiness goes to minus 40 degrees zone three and it ripens in early to late summer and requires full sun, which this spot does get some shade, but it gets the, the afternoon sun comes, it gets morning sun and then afternoon hot sun. So hopefully it will be fine. This is my first time actually growing blueberries. So, um, We'll see how it goes. I think the deer and the birds will get to them before McGregor does. Um, so we'll, we'll see. I'm, we might end up having to put a fence around this because uh, this is where the deer come through and um, they might just have a feast. We'll see. So I'm just gonna, this is really lofty compost. So I didn't even grab a shovel. Just gonna scoop it down a little of the Job's Organic Fast Start fertilizer granules. A little bit of that in there. And there's some fertilizer, extended fertilizer in here too. Pop it out of the can. Pick that up a little bit. Soil around. And tamp it in. Easy as that. And then I have another one that I'll get in the ground, but I also have these strawberry starts that my friend Megan gifted us. So I thought because these plants are so immature, I thought I would put strawberries around the base and strawberries are easy enough to transplant. So um, I will um, transplant those as the, the bushes get bigger. So these are a mix of, she said that they, there were some ever-bearing strawberries and some June-bearing strawberries. So I'm not sure which is which, we'll find out. So I'm just gonna make a little hole, pop them in, make sure the crown's like at ground level, and tap them in. Here's a little teeny tiny baby one, put that right next door. and just keep going. This is, oh, this is a Walla Walla. I can't see that. Let's try that again. This is a Walla Walla onion. So the tag says. And there's probably several in here. Oh, goodness. Just dump them out. Oh, yes, there's lots. Tease them apart by the roots. Get them in the ground. Try to do a couple inches in between. Give them some space to grow.
And if you're not familiar with Walla Walla onions, they're a sweet onion. But we're in Washington State and Walla Walla is down in the southeast corner. But they make a delicious onion. So sweet. When I was a kid, I used to eat them like apples. Love them in potato salad. have two kale. It doesn't say what variety. Again, from my neighbor. She had enough. So, pop one in here. level out the soil because we need it to be nice and level. I had no idea we are going to use it. And this bed, we are going to plant peas. Mm. Okay, do you want to hold this intact? And I'm going to take my glove and we need to make two rows. So I'm going to make a little trough. Oh, this the one that you got? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to make a little trough. It needs to be about an inch deep. So trough here and another trough right here. And then I want you to grab the seeds and put a, a pea seed. Actually, we'll probably do pea seed, two pea seeds because these seeds are a little older. Yeah. So we'll do two peas per for every two inches. So, is that, is that what every piece is? Yep. A ten little. And then you put them in, and then we'll cover them. So, do you lose one? Good. Okay. So grab two at a time, and then start right here. Put both of them right there. Okay. And then take. Well, we'll cover it at the end. Okay. And then take two more, and put it two inches apart. Okay. amount okay and then do you want to help cover them <laughs> cover them up and then we pat them pat them in and then we're gonna water them in but we need to do this side too
what? Now we're gonna grow some carrots. These are mm. the red corded shen. I thought there's only just like one kind of carrot. No, there's lots of different varieties. Red corded shentani. I don't I don't know how that's pronounced. <laughs> yes. But these we're gonna sow to a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. Mm -hmm. So they're more shallow than the peas. And we're gonna space the seeds about an inch apart. So uh -oh. about this little that seed. Oh, that's a is that a wing? I think that's a oh it's, oh it's a pine cone seed, huh? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, days to germination fourteen to twenty five, days to harvest seventy. All right, so we already did kind of a line in the soil here. Wow. Jeez. Yep, they're small seeds, aren't they? Um, so you're you gonna just have take. To do that. That's way too hard. Is that too hard? Okay. Yeah, I can't even see them. All right. Okay, I can try. Can you try? Okay, good. Because we can always thin them. If we do too many, we can come in and thin them out. Whew. A few more in that row. Dee, 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 dee. Oh. <laughs> We're trying to keep them in the rub, McGregor. Oh. <laughs> now they're going to come up everywhere. Yeah. Cover them just lightly. Just like so. Just lightly. Because it's only a quarter of an inch, so it can't be too deep or else they won't come up. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. Okay, McGregor, now we're going to plant some spinach. This is giant noble spinach, mm -hmm. and it has 10 to 15 days to germination and a, a depth to sow the seed, meaning putting the seed mm -hmm. and covering it to a half of an inch. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna space the seed two inches apart. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here it says row spacing 18 inches apart. Oh. I'm doing it, I did closer than that. So we'll have to take out this row and this row. And we'll do one closer over here, okay. And days to harvest is 40 to 45, which is pretty fast. So hopefully it doesn't get too hot on us because we're a little late to the game here because spinach is more of a, a cooler season crop. Okay, so we're going to take some seed and what was it, two inches apart? I think it was eight. I think it was two. So we're going to put That's, a seed. It said two. It said eight inches apart. 18 inches apart for the rows and two inches, two inches apart for seed spacing. So grab some seeds and put two inches apart. Do this row right here. Out of this side. Okay. How deep does it need to be? A half an inch. Okay. Okay, so just fairly shallow. At a half inch. Is that actually horse poop? Yep, and this was. Ew. Well, steer, so cow poop, composted steer manure. Ew. <laughs> Gross. Gross. Yeah. Plants like it. Here is our finished planting. In this bed, we have peas and some additional onions there because we had too many. And this bed, we've got two kale and the rest of the Walla Walla onions. We set out two chairs to be by his fire pit. I thought that'd be a cute touch. In this bed, we have some spinach and some carrots. 
This bed are those wild strawberries. They get the, I think they're called the alpine strawberries. We got them at my plant swap. In this bed, we have two blueberries and some June bearing and ever bearing strawberry mix in here. So thanks so much for tuning in and joining me in the Happy Place Garden in McGregor's little happy garden. And uh, I hope you'll follow along in the progress throughout the summer to see how it's growing and see how McGregor is enjoying it. Hopefully we'll be able to harvest some of the, the vegetables and fruit and be able to make some things for you. And I appreciate you watching. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button so you can see additional videos and you can hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on anything new. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Happy gardening. Bye-bye.